Hey guys, we are back with a new video and in this video we will be showing how to make a 3D pentagon using magnetic sticks and magnetic balls. So let's get right into it. Now we will be using 16 magnetic sticks and 7 magnetic balls. First of all, we will be taking one magnetic ball and connecting it with 6 more magnetic sticks. 4, 5 and here is the last one, the 6th one. Now we will connect the topmost magnetic stick here, the blue one, with another magnetic ball and place it vertically on top. Next we will be connecting the remaining magnetic balls to the remaining magnetic sticks like this. And here's the last one. There you go. Now, except for the topmost magnetic stick and ball here, we'll connect all these magnetic balls with another magnetic stick. Now, here comes the tricky part. First of all, we'll have to lift the topmost magnetic stick and ball here and then we'll be making triangles with between these three magnetic balls. The one on bottom, the one on top and the one on the side here. This is the first one, uh, the second one and we'll go so on and so forth. So now we have connected these magnetic sticks, we have just two magnetic sticks remaining. We will pull up the last one, connect it as well, and here we will connect the last magnetic stick to make our 3D pentagon, which is up and about. Here you can admire the 3D pentagon, which is a really stable one and which would not now, break. There is another alternative to making the 3D pentagon. If you don't want to use the magnetic stick which is inside here connecting these two magnetic balls. So once we remove the magnetic stick and connect the remaining magnetic sticks and balls we can see that the 3D pentagon becomes less stable and with one flick it breaks. Instead of removing the stick here we can insert the stick right in between these two magnetic balls and then connect the last magnetic stick. So when, when I push this, it will just detach one magnetic stick here and not crush the entire pentagon. So as you can see here, I am applying all my force and still it is stable and sturdy and is not crushing under the weight of my fingers.